Hi, uh, we're here today to talk about our hops and nettle soap. Uh, it's made with a local IPA beer from Double Nickel Brewery, which we'll talk about in a little bit. Uh, but the main two ingredients in this soap are hops and nettles. This here is ground up nettles. And this is what nettles looks like after it's been dried. Uh, when it's freshly harvested, you would want to wear gloves because it does sting. It's referred to as stinging nettles, but we abbreviate it a lot of times and call it nettles. Um, nettles is really good for the skin. It's anti-inflammatory, it's astringent, and it's loaded with vitamins and iron. Uh, it's, it also makes a really great tea. Um, I find that with a lot of my soaps, I like to use things that are good internally, so I use them in the soaps because I know that they also work externally. Um, the other really good thing in this soap is all of the hops that are in this beer here. Uh, we chose a session India Pale Ale from Double Nickel Brewery. We are New Jersey girls, so we chose a local brewery, um, Double Nickel. And we were even curious about the name itself and we learned that um, where we're from it's called the Tacone Palmyra Bridge but it used to be called Double Nickel because it used to cost a nickel to cross it and uh, they eventually raised the price and the truckers refer to it then as Double Nickel. Yep, um, And that's why that's, there's a cool bridge. Yeah and their logo. Yep. Um, the other things we used are well to create this color here it pretty much was made by using the beer which I was really happy with the outcome of it but I love using turmeric to color my soaps because it's a natural colorant I don't use anything artificial um, and turmeric is also really good um, in Ayurvedic culture and it's also anti-inflammatory um, there are also ground up orange peel powder uh, that's an exfoliant so that's good for the skin and there are three essential oils that I put in here and I chose orange to complement the peel powder so we have orange essential oil balsam Peru which is a very good medicinal oil it's actually used in calamine lotion and other pharmaceutical um, products it's even used in the food and beverage industry so I found that to be interesting that, again, we're using things that you can put inside your body as well. Not that you would want to. Um, and the third oil, which I forgot about, is cedarwood. And those scents together create a nice smell for a man or a woman. I always focus on making sure it's not too masculine or too feminine. And this here is spinach powder, which is where the green comes from on the soap. And I put that in a piping bag and piped that on. And I sprinkled some poppy seeds in there for extra exfoliation. And the other thing that we put in here is a hop flower on each soap. And this came from our friend's garden. So this is locally harvested mm -hmm. from Damon's backyard. And we feel really good about that. Yeah, and we ourselves have three hop plants, so we can, as we go on, we're growing the majority of the plants that we use, or we find really awesome sources, so we were lucky to have our friend who lives in Magnolia provide the hops. And the last thing, probably the, the most important thing, is the oils used in this. I always use sustainably harvested palm oil because... Um, if you're not paying attention to where you're getting it from, it could be detrimental to the orangutans. But I'm also looking into the future of not even using palm oil anymore, even though it is sustainably harvested. Um, and we also have rice bran oil in there, castor oil, which is excellent for the skin, and also coconut oil. So it's really um, full of wonderful ingredients that you could feel good about. And I've been using this soap um, for about a week and it does have a super awesome lather and I like it too because like Michaeline said it's both masculine and feminine and we actually made it and released it around Father's Day. This way it would be a nice gift for you know dad because we noticed that the guys are really getting into soaps lately too. 
And the thing with this soap, the, actually the really biggest thing is that it's made with the beer. And it sounds a little silly to use beer and soap, but um, beer is very lathering. And it also contains brewer's yeast, which is uh, antimicrobial or antibacterial, which would be good for combating acne. And it contains vitamin B, which moisturizes the skin. Um, and it also creates that frothy lather, which would allow for a really close shave. So I think this soap could go a really long way in how you're using it. Yeah, definitely. And even the nettles and um, the turmeric, they're awesome for acne, psoriasis, eczema. Like it's definitely a good skin nourishing soap. All right, so that's our soap video. Sorry for all the traffic in the background. <laughs> it's just, you know, we try to do things in natural environments. So it is what it is. Thanks so much.